What is going on everybody? Matta222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the DC Collectibles Legends of Tomorrow Adam figure. But as always guys before we look at the figure let's take a quick look at the packaging. So Legends of Tomorrow you can see right across the bottom there. It says Legends of Tomorrow on top. Nice shot of the figure on the side and of course the number three telling us this is the third figure in this line window box on the other side and on the back we can see some other figures available I've already reviewed these two um, if you if you want to see my review of flash sorry confused I'm confused again guys I did not review flash because I got this before I started doing reviews if you want to see me review this guy then let me know in the comments nothing really on the bottom barcode and some sculptures and some crap on the bottom there so with the packaging out of the way guys let me take a quick minute i will get this guy out of the box and then we can take a closer look all right so taking a look at adam out of the package i i just want to really take a quick minute guys to plug my uh multiverse review of this character uh, if you want to maybe go watch that before just so just for comparison just so you can kind of compare it to this one you can do that if not then that's that's fine too okay so face sculpt on the atom pretty good uh it's it, it's hard to tell with the visor but it does look like it does kind of to me look like ray from the show uh it's hard to tell with the visor we didn't get an unmasked head for this guy so a little bit disappointing you can see the atom logo is nice other than that, it's a really, really dope figure. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of, a lot of sculpted detail. You can see all the little cables or wires connecting it. I mean, all the buttons are painted nicely. Getting into all the detail on the forearms, the hand. I mean, even on the back, you can, you can sign to see all the little buttons. You can kind of see everything. So very, very nice. A lot of work on this guy. A couple of things I don't like. For the knees, this part always comes up. I, I don't really understand why. I don't really know why. It just it doesn't... Maybe it, just, maybe it just broke or maybe it just wasn't glued properly. But it should be like that. It should look like that. But it always just pops back up. And then it's looking like that. So that is a little bit annoying. But I mean... I can kind of deal with that, I guess. It's some nice detail on the boots, too. Dig it. So, yeah, a lot of... Even even on the shoulder pads. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of detail with this guy. Really, really like this guy. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, paint apps are nice. I like the metallic blue, the kind of cherry red, the, the darker red up here. The The paint apps on this guy are very visually appealing to me. Because there's a lot of different reds, a lot of different black, silver, the blue, a lot of contrast. And then the kind of neon blue with the visor stands out very nice. So really, really digging that. Articulation, this is where it starts to get a little rocky. So the head moves side to side. Not the best forward and back. For a character that flies, you're not really going to get him in a flying pose. Arms move up to about here. The shoulder pad nice, nicely does not, nicely just kind of fits up. That's what I was trying to say. It doesn't block any articulation, so that's good. Because it kind of is more attached to the end of the arm. But still get a full rotation. Swivel in the elbow. Single jointed elbow, not much of a range of motion on that though. Wrist rotation and wrist hinge. You get a diaphragm joint, but it's so stiff. I, I can't even move it. Like I, I can't move it at all. It's so stiff. I don't, I don't know. So that's not the best. The hips move out to about here. Kick this far forward and that far back. Double jointed knee, again, not the best range of motion. 
and the ankles do rock side to side and they do hinge forward and back i don't know i, I might i might just need to put this guy in some hot water it might just be that he's really stiff but at least on mine the movement is so limited now he does come with accessories uh not so much accessories but he comes with a lot of hands so he's got the two fisted hands and then he's got he also has these two kind of open hands can you see that he's got these two open hands He's got these two kind of grabbing hands. Cool. And then he's got the fists that are kind of shooting the lasers or the, the effects of fire, whatever it is. And, and it's nice, nice translucent blue. Looks really, really nice. And then he also has more effects. More of the same translucent blue effects that you can if I can oh oh man that's weak so I was gonna say you can kind of peg them into the feet like any Marvel Legends Iron Man but he only has one foot hole so you can kind of do that but other than that, nah, he's got no holes in his feet. It's disappointing because uh, I just I just lost one. I don't understand what these are for. Um, is he supposed to hold them? Because he already has the hands with the blasters. So I mean, they look nice, but I don't know why we got them. I mean, other than that, like. He doesn't hold it well. I just lost them both, guys. He doesn't hold them well, and he has nothing else to hold. So I don't really, I don't really understand why we. I'll find them later. I don't really understand why we got those, but nonetheless, we did. So thought I'd talk about it. All in all, uh, I like this figure. It's better than the Mattel version. He goes right up with your. If you're collecting any of the Arrowverse figures, he's not great, but he's certainly the best version I've seen of this character. But, so all in all, I will say, pick this guy up if you're collecting the other figures, but if not, then he's probably an easy pass. But, all in all guys, that is it for this video. Thank you again for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, show me some love down below and hit that subscribe button. Because I'm bringing you new videos almost every day. And that's the best way to make sure you don't miss anything. Like this video. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Check out my social media links in the description. Come, come follow me there. And make sure you come check out the Sanctuary Facebook page. Join up with us there. And check out all the other action figure community Facebook groups or whatever groups. Anywhere. Be a part of whatever community you want. But check them out anyway if, if that makes any sense but other than that that is it for this video guys thank you again for watching have a great day and i will see you next time with another figure review and bye